The bus from Hainan to Nantong is 12 renminbi. I make the journey at least once a week to explore the larger city and to do some shopping. The drive from Hainan City to Nantong reveals the rural lifestyle and farming-based economy of the area. In the springtime, the bright yellow of the canola plant covers the fields and small patches of land along the roadsides right up to each house, acting like a natural carpet, stretching from one wall to the other, holding everything together. In Nantong, to go downtown, catch city bus number four from the long distance terminal. I walk around the rectangular city lake, which is really the Hao River, and find a shopping area and the new Nantong City Museum. There are many hutong style homes here, but they are giving way to new luxury development everywhere. The Hao River was once an ancient moat encircling Nantong City in the year of 958. With over a thousand years history, the river is one of four existent ancient moats in China. The soil and climate around Nantong is favorable to growing cotton, and from the middle of the Ming Dynasty, a weaving industry existed. With the arrival of the blue indigo seeds to Nantong, around the same time, local dyeing houses appear, and the famous blue calico industry began. Authentic blue calico will have the pattern right through the cloth, showing on both sides. The Chinese staff at Haimen Zhongshui told me to visit Langshan Scenic Area, or Wolf Hill. It's an ancient Buddhist temple complex, but for me, it's mostly a vantage point to look out over the city and the Yangtze River. On one of my later visits to China, my partner Tian Zhao and I were invited to Xitong New Development Area to investigate opening a new school. The area is a massive Taiwanese-funded development. This Google Earth view is the only picture I have. It turns out they wanted us to provide 12 English language kindergarten teachers for their new kindergarten center, a two-story complex of classes for three to five-year-olds. You can see the kindergarten building as we zoom down on this picture. It's the brownish colored building near the silvery half moon. Kindergarten teachers are like gold, hard to find, hard to keep. There was no way we could commit to this scale. On another visit to Nantong with the Tian Zhao staff from Haimen, we came across a fish restaurant. We decided that we would go in and have fish. One fish, eight dishes. <laughs> 